this video, I will show you guys how to strip down the side panels and get access to the airbox on a 2013 Suzuki GW250. The first thing you want to do is just stick your key in from the bottom and get rid of the seat. Just get that out of the way now. The black side panel closest to the rear tire only has one screw. Remove that. It's held together by two rubber plugs. You want to pull them out towards you and a bit towards the front of the motorcycle. Next, remove the two screws on the silver panel towards the bottom black part. And don't forget to pull off the washer because it could get stuck to the rubber and it might fall off later and you could lose it. And again, the side panel is just held by rubber plugs, so just pull it towards you and it should come right off. Now switching to a hex bit, remove the bottom screw on your turn signal assembly. Now remove the screw on top. For those of you wondering why I'm over torquing my screws, it's actually because I had placed thread locker into the screws last time I worked on the bike. That's why you hear such a loud pop sound. Now remove both screws on the silver cover above the gas tank and then lift the edges to pull it off. Okay, now for the turn signal assembly, it slides forward, but you want to be careful not to pull it out too far because it is actually still connected to the turn signal wires, but you want to unplug and then remove the whole panel. Repeat these steps on the other side of the motorcycle to remove their side panels as well. Remove the two bolts at the base of the gas tank. Once the bolts are loose, I personally like to remove the handle off the ratchet so I can just spin them faster. Now remove the one bolt at the very top of the gas tank. Try not to drop the washer in between the bolt and that metal piece. Okay, so maybe I had forgotten to hit record when I was lifting up the gas tank, so there's no footage of that. You're going to want to pick up the gas tank gently because the, there's wires and there's also that gas feed line at the very bottom. What you want to do is pick it up and tilt it to the left side of the motorcycle and just tie it or hold it somehow. I'm going to be honest, this part is going to be a lot easier if you can have somebody hold it for you for two minutes. The airbox lid only has two screws at the very top. To remove the lid, you just pull it straight upwards. And just pull out the air filter. Very simple. I replaced my factory air filter with one of those fancy high performance K&N cotton air filters. Model SU2513. Now for those of you wondering, Jeebus, you helped me strip down my motorcycle. How do I put it back together? 
Well, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Just watch my video in reverse and you should be able to put it back together. Probably. But once you get to the turn signals, I do admit that part is a bit tricky. Good luck with that and may God have mercy on your soul.